last video I talked about the BS Racing Turbo. This is what's left of it after I took it apart. I'll show you a couple options of what can be done with that to make it a better turbo. I guess it could be more reliable if that version's not reliable, but you can actually get repair parts for this and it's proven to last. This right here is a GT35R cartridge that I built. So this will swap directly into his exhaust housing. So this is option number one. And then the compressor alloying swaps directly on to the center cartridge. Everything's a direct fit. That's the easiest way to get this turbo back up and running if it had failed, or you could just run it as it is. Then this piece, I'll cut a o-ring groove in here so that it seals against that compressor housing. That would make it a reliable turbo. Now the second option would be as if I, if this guy wanted more horsepower, more than 600 horsepower, then we would upgrade this, this turbo to a 67 turbine, stock is 62.3 or 62.35. We would go to 67 by 74 and then the compressor wheel, we would upgrade that to a 67.43. This compressor wheel is a direct fit for the precision compressor housings. You would need a TO4E plate. The one on this one is a TO4S plate. The TO4S plate fits directly in this compressor housing that was removed from this turbo. We would have to machine both the compressor and the exhaust housings to fit this cartridge, so it would be more expensive to do that but it would increase the horsepower capability over 950 rather than a limit of 600 horsepower. Those are the only two options I have on fixing this VS Racing Turbo, or you could just leave it alone and just run it that way. I don't think it wouldn't be, and I think it would be pretty decently reliable because the thrust bearing design, they've, it's a very updated design. This is a compressor housing that we have for these cartridges too. So this is the same thing as that. Well, besides that anti-surge style. This is a ball bearing cage out of a Garrett GT35R, actually a GTX35R. This is the style cage that would be in the turbo that we would replace in this turbine housing, rather than the two journal bearings. So that would be dual ball bearing, ceramic balls, so it'd be a much higher quality. The reasonable way to fix this would be to reuse the original compressor wheel, balance that to the turbine wheel, and build a ball bearing center cartridge. That's one way I forgot to mention when I was filming at the turbo. That would cut the cost a little bit more. However, the cost to have to buy all those parts, ball bearing parts, and do it, do the service, it's gonna be about as much as it was to buy the turbo. So in some cases, it might be worth it to some people. It, the reason being is it's just because ball bearing parts are just a lot more expensive than journal bearing parts. Thanks for watching this video. I'll leave some links to the cartridges we sell for this. They just have the cast wheel. If you do want us to do a service, to a turbo like this, I'll leave our contact information in the description box.